With the reveal of Beyblade X, naturally people are very excited for it, and they can't wait to get their hands on the new stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't come out until July 15th, which, from the making of this video, is in about over a month. So what people do is they'll create prototype combos of these newer Beyblades by using older gen parts, which is exactly what I did. So I made these five combos based on the five new bays so far. So we have a Drawn Sword combo, Hell Scythe, um, Wizard Arrow, Night Shield, and even a Cobalt Drake prototype combo. So we're going to check these bays out, do some battles. So let's get right into it. First up, we have our Drawn Sword prototype combo, and this combo is Victory Valkyrie 6 Vortex Excel. It is a pretty straightforward combo, and it makes sense why all these parts are chosen just by looking at it. So we'll start off with the layer, which is Victory Valkyrie. Now, most people would use something like Winning Valkyrie or Brave Valkyrie, but I don't have Winning and Brave. I don't like Brave that much for attack. And I did want to use older Gen Beyblades, which made some sense. At least in my head, because, you know, these are the first gen X Beyblades, why not use older gen Burst Beyblades for these combos? Um, but either way, uh, it's pretty um, reasonable why I chose this thing. It's a right spinning, three bladed, blue attack type Beyblade, and it's also a pretty decent layer too. Moving on to the disc and frame, I chose six Vortex. I chose Vortex because it's three bladed, just like the 360 Ratchet. And the disc, I literally did not care what disc this thing had, but, you know, at least it is a three bladed frame, so it matches up pretty well. Finally, we have the Excel driver. I wanted to use Assault, but since I also made Cobalt Drake, um, I didn't have multiple Assault drivers, so I had to use Excel because I do have two Excels. Um, but either way, I still think that this makes sense. I mean, the flat bit on Drawn Sword is obviously a flat, and this is a flat, it's just not as big, which is why I wanted to use Assault, which is definitely bigger than Excel. So that is it for our Drawn Sword combo. Let's move on to the Hell Scythe combo. Here's our Health Scythe combo, and this is Single Air Death Scyther, 1A-D, Blow. Okay, this driver is a weird choice, but again, we'll get to that when we get to that. So the layer, Single Air Death Scyther, there is no way that Takeratomi didn't base Health Scythe off of this Beyblade. Like, it's in the name, it's in the shape, uh, not the color scheme really, but everything else is basically one-to-one. -one, so it's pretty obvious why I chose this guy. It's also a really good layer for um, stamina. I know that has nothing to do with the combo, but you know, just something I thought I'd mention. For the disc, we have 1A-D, which is a four-bladed disc, just like 460. This will be a common theme for the four-sided ratchets. We have this disc, and for the three-sided ones, we have um, six vortex, just because that simplified things for me. And um, this is like an okay disc, but we're, again, we don't really care that much about performance. We only care about accuracy, which is why I chose this horrible excuse for a driver. Yeah, Blow isn't a very good driver. It's a very thin flat, so I guess in that regard, it's similar to the um, taper bit on Hellsight. But unfortunately, just like the name suggests, it blows. It's horrible. It just gets knocked over very easily. But it's based off accuracy, so I can't really complain. I would have used Excel if I did have the two Assault drivers for the other two. But, you know, it is what it is. Here we have our Wizard Arrow prototype combo, and this is Yugen Yedrion 1A-D Massive. So, as for the layer, I would have used um, Holy Horror Suit, because I feel like that Beyblade matches up with the shape of um, Wizard Arrow a little bit well, or a little bit better than this guy, but I don't have it. I only have the single layer one. Which would have worked, but this one just looked a little bit better. But, um, yeah. I do like how this layer looks. It's not yellow, but it does have some yellow, so that's a win. The disc is, once again, 1A-D, although this time I chose a green one, even though a yellow one would have made more sense. I don't know, don't question me. And the driver is the massive driver, which is a ball tip, similar to the ball bit. Re reoccurring theme for these combos is just I chose this part, because it's similar to the actual one. But um, yeah, that's our prototype uh, Wizard Arrow combo. Next, we have our Night Shield combo, and this is King Kirby's Six Vortex Survive. Our layer was actually kind of a hard one to choose because it does make sense. It's a defense type layer for a defense type Beyblade. However, the shape doesn't exactly match up. I was considering using maybe Morigna, but I feel like that, may, uh, that might be a bit too overpowered for some of these bays. Um, so I just decided to choose King Kirby's. It's not three bladed like uh, Night Shield, but Night Shield's kind of six bladed and this is kind of six bladed. I don't know. Just roll with it. All right. Once again, six vortex disc, three bladed like the 380 ratchet. Need I say more? No. And our driver survived just like the 
needle bit on the real um, night shield. It's a sharp tip. And um, yeah, funny, there is an actual needle driver, but it has, it looks nothing like the needle bit, so I did not choose that. But um, yeah, here we go. Here's our night shield combo. And finally, we have our um, Cobalt Drake combo, and it has a completely flipped color scheme, but you know, it is what it is. And um, this is Legend Spryzen 1A D Excel. So, our layer. I chose this because it is four bladed and it can spin right. And now I would have used Dragoon, however, Dragoon is bad and it's a left spin. Cobalt Drake is a right spin, so it really wouldn't work. Um, even though, let's be honest, Cobalt Drake is basically like a newer version of Dragoon. It is very similar. But I chose this because the spin direction is correct. 1A dash D, 4 bladed. It's like 460 on the real Cobalt Drake. Nothing else to really say. And our Excel driver, if I had another Assault driver, then um, my Drawn Sword combo and uh, Cobalt Drake combo would definitely have Assault because the um, shapes of those um, drivers, they are um, pretty wide, just like the actual flat bit on the real versions. But again, because of the parts I had, I couldn't use them, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, here's our Cobalt Drake combo. It is not blue, but it at least will perform similar, I don't know. I do want to quickly mention that there is actually an announcement for a Dronzer S remake that was announced like yesterday. But I will not be making a combo of that, even though there is literally a Dronzer Burst remake that I have right here. I just don't want to make it because like, well, I'll be changing these parts. That's basically it. That's not very interesting for a video. And also I don't have another blow driver or six vortex uh, disc or at least another vortex frame. So I can't really make it. And it's not even like a main release. So I feel like I did not need to make it. Although that Tronzer remake for X does look pretty cool. But that's about it for the base. So let's get into the test battles. All right, so we're at the stadium, and we're gonna do this in kind of a tournament-style way, where we're gonna have our first battle being between these two, and then our next battle being between these two, and it's kind of like a bracket, and whoever ends up winning battles our Cobalt Drake combo, because let's be honest, this one is probably the best one we have, because it is a god layer and has metal in the layer. So, yeah, we're gonna start off with um, our Hellsythe combo versus our Drawn Sword combo. Pretty mellow at the start. They're not really moving around that much. Oh wow, okay, so a last minute burst by our drawn sword combo. Alright, that was kind of unexpected. Oh there we go. Big hit from our house combo. I wonder how the blow driver is moving more than the Excel driver. Oh, a double burst. All right. Ooh. There we go. There's some contact. All right, decent hits, decent hits. Okay, and our Drawn Sword combo takes the win. We're gonna move on to a much more boring battle. Our Wizard Era combo versus our, um, what's this thing called? Uh, Night Shield combo. I keep on forgetting the name of that guy. takes the win there. Alright, this is actually a good combo. That's kind of surprising to me. So now we have Drawn Sword versus Wizard Arrow. Solid hit there. Um, 
Alright, so our wizard era combo is honestly kind of overpowered, it seems. I rest my case. Like, Yedrion isn't like a bad layer or anything, but it's doing a lot better than I expected. That was kind of a bad launch on the drawn sword, so maybe. Um, we're. It's, it's probably gonna lose anyway, like, let's be honest. Cell is not moving very fast. I don't know why. Maybe mine is like worn out or something, but it's not very aggressive right now. Probably gonna lose. Yeah, okay. Let's get to the championship round. We have our Cobalt Drake combo versus um, Wizard Arrow. Alright, let's see who gets it. Oh, this one's actually like kind of aggressive now. I'll admit it. Did not expect that. Okay, now it's like chill. That's fantastic. Giving okay, first finish. I mean, yeah, we're fighting a dual warrior against like one of the best, um, not one of the best, but one of the better, um, god warriors, so, you know. First priority, um, so, yeah. Uh, our Cobalt Drake combo won, wow, what a surprise. So that was my video on my prototype Beyblade X combos. Um, overall, they're pretty neat. Uh, this one is probably the best, obviously, because, um, you know, good attack power on this guy. The other ones are just okay, but, you know, accuracy is what matters, and I think I nailed that. So, yeah, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, stuff like that, and I'll see you in the next video.